Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 92 of Modern Skyblock 3, where I uh, have set up a thing. Uh, so we set up, uh, quickly here, uh, four ultimate energy cubes. Because I was doing a little bit of research into nuclear craft, and to get our fusion reactor up and running, we have to heat up the components of, of the fusion reactor, which we, we discovered uh, at some point last episode. Right. I think I mentioned that briefly. Uh, so, so in doing research around how that all works, uh, I quickly found out that we need a lot of power. Uh, roughly 160-ish million RF total. Now, these cubes can each store about 50 million RF, and I didn't want to tap into my main power source to get that power. So what I did, and this was surprisingly cheap to make, I just want to put up there, uh, is make some solar panels. Uh, so I made... Uh, I think some quantums, right? So those are 40, 96 RF a tick generation. So in total, we're making a stupid amount of power. And wow, I used up all my diamonds for that, didn't I? Uh, I went to show you the, the cheapness of this. They are surprisingly cheap to make, like surprisingly cheap to make. Once you're playing this mod pack, if you're looking for power, quantum solar panels are the way to go. I mean, granted, they only run during the day, but what are you gonna do? Um, that said, how are you doing over here, buddy? Like, I probably haven't done, like, the stone thing in a while. So, like, let's get, um, that going on. So you can start doing your thing, right? That's the correct thing to do, right? Yeah, rock crusher. All right, cool. Right, cool. Good enough for me. So that'll get us more diamonds, but we also have, like, you know, copious amounts of diamond ore, right, that we can always just toss into this bad boy. And I'm pretty sure, like, it's not the best, but we'll get potentially four diamonds out of this, right? And that's cool. And I think you're auto-dumping into here, aren't you? Yeah, nifty. I should have you, like, dumping into something else so that we can collect those diamonds, but you get the idea. So, uh, yeah, I want to do nuclear fusion today, if I can. So to set this up, first off, we have to pop this dude down. Now, you ready? This is a big block, I discovered. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is cool. That is neat. And there's this really complicated looking UI, but if we click in the middle here, we can see the recipes. Um, so there's liquid hydrogen or hydrogen gas. You can do those two things and they will produce deuterium. Um, you can combine hydrogen with deuterium to get helium three. You can combine hydrogen with tritium uh, to get helium three and neutron fluids. Uh, hydrogen gas and helium three gets helium gas. So like, as you can see, there are seven pages <laughs> of uh, of reactors like molten lithium-6 and molten boron. And I'm assuming that the different materials you put into the fusion reactor yields obviously different outputs and also yields different energy amounts and temperature amounts and efficiencies and other yada yadas. Prevent input overflow. Void leftover fluids. Void output overflow. Efficiency heat comparator. Efficiency heat comparator. Well, that's a super cool looking UI that I don't know anything about. I need to do like a mod spotlight for this dude so that I can like understand this mod better because it is super cool. Um, super complicated, but super cool. Like not complicated in a way that like you wouldn't be able to do it. If you wanted to just spin up some nuclear stuff, you probably could. Um, but if you find it fun to be able to like be super efficient and come up with like interesting ways to, to do like really complex amounts of resource manipulation like that could be a lot of fun for you guys that like doing that kind of thing um so that said i got myself some hydrogen from over here remember we're using hydrogen gas um from our electrolytic separator we're voiding our excess oxygen and we're using hydrogen uh which is empty by the way oh because i probably didn't side config you to output <laughs> that probably could have been a problem at some point but we're cool. We're cool. Um, but you don't use a whole lot of hydrogen over there on the right. So uh, we have a net gain of hydrogen going on over here. So I made an ultimate gas tank before we had a basic one. I made an ultimate and I'm letting that fill up. I don't know exactly how much hydrogen gas we're going to need. Um, but we also get hydrogen from over here, this setup, right? So like you've got hydrogen gas in this tank. So 112 buckets of liquid hydrogen gas some deuterium, 
uh, and some oxygen gas, right? So that is also a thing that you're doing just fine with. Um, I might want another hydrogen gas amount. You say empty, but I don't know if I trust you. Your oxygen gas is full as well, aren't you? Yeah, but your oxygen gas here is not, and you're not clearing. So you might need another ultimate fluid tank. Let's make one of those if we can real quick. Shouldn't be too long of a crafting process. Because basically I would like another, you know, let's put you like here with another mechanical pipe. And I'm assuming you're gonna be hydrogen gas. Nice, all right, cool. So that should clear out this line and then this one and then the oxygen will clear out. Maybe the deuterium first and then the oxygen. So we do have deuterium, by the way, which is totally used for some things, but we have a very small amount of it. But you can get deuterium. Can't we get deuterium otherwise? You get it from nuclear craft. Heavy water from mechanism gets you a lot more deuterium. Ooh. Yeah, mechanism has a deuterium process, doesn't it? I think so. Mechanism has its own form of deuterium. But we can totally heavy water it, which we can get from mechanism. There's a way to get heavy water. It's like a pump with like a heavy water filter or something like that. So if I determine that I want um, nuclear craft stuff, we, we could probably look into doing that. But... Let's, let's figure out how to make this like actually work because I have no idea. Um, so I think I need fusion connectors on each of the four sides, it said, right? Now it gave me 120 of these, but it didn't give me like a good instruction of where to put them. Um, where are we? Large multi-blocks. So you told me about nuclear fusion. One fusion connector is connected on every side, surrounded by a ring of electromagnets for it all to work. I don't know. Like, when you say surrounded by a ring of electromagnets, do you mean like this? I hope these aren't tile entities, because I'd like to uh, build and gadgets those things up. So that used a very small amount of the 120 electromagnets that I was told to make. So I don't exactly know what else to do with these. So let me get on the Googles and figure it out. Cool. Um, it requires 50 RF a tick to stay active. So that's a thing. Transparent fusion electromagnet. Well, that's cool. All right, back in a minute. I, I got to figure this out. Oh no, they're dial entities. I can't use building gadgets with them. Wah, wah, wah. But I think I know what I need to do um, now. So you have to create a hollow ring around this structure of electromagnets. So like this, and then we're gonna do one like this, and like this. Man, build to me would have been perfect for this, by the way. Why are these tile entities? They should not hopefully need to be tile entities. Nuclear craft. And this can be larger, by the way. And from what I understand, like, the, the larger this is, like, you get more options. Because, like, you could have two fusion connectors here, and then you'd have a larger ring, right? But it looks like we need more fusion electromagnets. Like, 10-ish more? Does that sound right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight-ish more. 
I mean, they're not too bad to make, luckily. You know, not too bad. I'm gonna need a few more tough alloys. Wow, we need a lot of tough alloys. All right, stand corrected on the needing only a few more of those. So that might be a minute. I mean, we've got this many. So we just need four more. And in theory, that's correct, I think. I think that's how it works. That's how it looks in this video that I'm watching. Uh, by two Asgard. But that's from 2016, to be fair. So it might be a little bit outdated, but we'll find out. It might not be a little bit outdated. It might be just right. I only requested a few of these more, right? Like 10 total. Okay, yeah. So it's making the tough alloys. They're not too shabby. So that's two more. Super close. I feel, was it 120 or 128? I made 120, right? No, it was 120. It looks like it's really 128 that it needs, which is just uh, an interesting number, right? Two, two full stacks. Um, so you're gonna cook up a few more tough alloys. Not too shabby. And we'll have two extra in there, but that's okay. But once we place these last two fusion electromagnets, my hope is that it turns around and says, oh yeah, you did it right. Good job, direwolf. Happy? E-magnets not powered. Ooh, cool. So like without this block, ring incomplete. With this block, E-magnets not powered. Sweet. All right. Um, so now you are powered, but you don't share power with your buddies which makes you a bad and horrible person. Uh, so we're going to need like lots of advanced universal cabling. So cook up a whole mess of that stuff for me, would you? In fact, I'm gonna cancel you so that you guys can get to work. Cool. Shouldn't be too bad. Our mechanism crafting is in fairness pretty fast. So in theory, we just need a whole big mess of power here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure you guys so that the back is an output, right? And you all should be building up large amounts of power for us. So you're filling. And see how everything's like filling up with juice and once they get fully filled up with juice do they turn green is that how it works some of them are turning green oh yeah look there they go they went green cool i like that and just to be careful your side output will be red as well cool for some reason i think the quantum solar panels and maybe it's just I don't know why that is, but it looks to me like they can't output as much power as quickly as they're producing it, or maybe the other energy cube, but I'm, I'm thinking he can, max output is 20,000 RF a tick, so I would imagine the input's the same. But they are actually producing power a little bit faster than they're dumping it into the cubes, but that's okay. Why are you two lower? It's weird, right? Um, why don't we just make you all red except the top? How's that sound? Just in case you're like sharing power with your friends. Right, so only the top is accepting power now. Anyway, how cool is that? Um, now we are going to also, I wonder if it has to be air in the middle. Cause it would be perfect if I could just run this power line through the middle. Does it have to be air in there? Though, how would I get the power line in there? That's a really good question that I don't have an answer to. So I think what we're gonna have to do ultimately um, is something like this. This mod is cool. I am liking it. So now the rings are powering up. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done that there. What I should have done 
is put them on the inside like this. Now, once the reaction starts, which is going to require, from what I understand, a healthy amount of heat, um, it should become like self-sufficient, right? But you, I guess. Incoming dire wire. So that'll light everybody up with green inside. Green in. Now you, hey, cool! Toroid size is two. Nice. And I think that what that means is it's basically the 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 ring is two blocks away from the reactor. Like one, two, and then there's the empty space in the middle, right? So this can be larger. And basically to make it larger is you'd have another fusion connector here. And then you'd build the ring around the outside of that. So like one, two, three, four more fusion connectors all around, and then a larger ring, right? And I think that would do stuff. Um, now, how about recipes? Um, should I like go, like I, I'm thinking liquid hydrogen is probably the smart route to start with, right? Doesn't that sound like a really smart place to be, liquid hydrogen? Um, can you have some more speed upgrades again? I'm thinking like a dozen might not be too terrible. And granted, that's using like a huge amount of power, like like we know, right? But I feel like it's worth it for all the hydrogen we're gonna want. Um, and we also have hydrogen gas. So like what I'm gonna do, now I'm not entirely sure how to get this into here. Would it be a basic mechanical pipe with you? Hey, look at that, hydrogen gas, cool. Shift click to clear tank and you accept 32 buckets worth of hydrogen gas. Okie dokie then. So I think this guy holds, he holds a little bit more than, yeah. So we'll be able to fill both of these, right? Because hydrogen and hydrogen gets us deuterium, which is which is all good, right? Um, and then efficiency, temperature, and energy stored. All right, with regards of how to start this, I can only assume a redstone signal is what we need to start this thing, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. But let's get a lever. Let's make sure that you guys have like a healthy amount of power in your energy cube stuff. Now, I don't know if that 160-ish million RF is, is including what's already stored there, because it stored up a bunch of power. I mean, we can always just try it and see what happens, and if it fails, we'll just let these things fill up again. I think that's a reasonable thing, right? I think that's reasonable. All right, redstone signal is not the answer to how to start this, this guy. Uh, I'm sure. Energy stored. Maybe it's in the middle. Maybe it actually needs to like be connected here. Oh, hey, look at that. Temperature's building up. Sweet. Okay, cool. That's That's nifty. Okay. Well, there we go. Now, does redstone do anything to you? Like, you know, stop anything from happening? No, I think it doesn't. So I think as long as we're piping energy in, that's neat. So let's get some like energy cubes, just, just so we have like an understanding of how this thing works. So I'm gonna craft four more energy cubes. So what's our temperature? Are you gonna tell me what temperature I need to get to to start this hydrogen reaction? I hope it's not that number. I hope it's not that number. I think it's 8,000-ish from what I was reading. Um, 
I think. 8 mega Kelvin. Which I hope is 8,000 kilokelvin, right? That would make sense. Um, so we want to get this number 2 here to be a number 8. And you're, you're climbing slowly but surely. You're out of power, though. Holy cow, that was quick. That was super quick. Uh, hopefully, the RF protect that we're producing over here is going to be enough. But we're going to find out what happens in about a second. Oh, we're losing power. Look, we are losing power. Whoo, that is hurtful. That is bad. I mean, I could tap you into our main energy line. I guess that would be an option. I'm hesitant to do that, though. What with all the, you know, shenanigans that might cause. Should we try it? So that should get us back up into the positives, right? No more red? Well, it's still red text, but it's it's a positive power gain, so that's nice. E-magnets not powered. Oh, electromagnets are not powered. That's probably kind of bad. They should, though. How did you lose? Oh, I see what happened. Oh, I see what happened. I mean, technically, another way to do this would be this. Okay, but I'm sure that we're like decimating our power over here, right? Like you're probably having a heart attack with the amount of power that we're killing. We need a lot of power. Holy cow, do we need a lot of power. I mean, this is the part where this guy would probably help out a little bit. I mean, he's got a nice little built-in 1.7 million RF. And to be fair, Thorium, right, produced... A healthy amount of power. I wonder if I could just like help out a little bit. Right? more advanced we probably want some more advanced so let's make it so that the bottom is green and what might wind up having to happen is I might have to like decide that we will come back after we wait for more power generation. So I'd like you not to connect if you could. And then you guys could run over to here where we have like a power output dude. Well, you know what? Why don't I just tap you in like this? Right, and then we will run this connection like so, so that you'll feed into there. And that should be cool, right? Now you are probably out of power, but I could let you run, and you're producing 10,000 RF a tick, which ain't bad. Right, and the benefit there is that it's just another 10,000 RF attack, just more power being produced. Kinda slowly, but also kinda surely, right? Um, all right, let's see where you're at, Buster. So you're chilling around three, so that's nice. So we're still getting a net gain. How's our buddy over here, Mr. Powering Our Base Cube? Still okay, but ha has seen better days. But hopefully, like, combined with all this cool stuff we got going on, we will have a nice net gain of power. So you guys should be making lots of thorium. Uh, 
doing everything we can to get this uh, nuclear reaction going. And the theory being uh, that once it's up and running, there will be a net gain of power. Right, void leftover fluid, void output overflow, efficiency or heat comparator. I don't know what that means. But once we hit 8,000, that's when stuff's gonna be cool. I'm just worried about how much effort it's gonna take to hit 8,000. Um, what we could also have, how impossible would it be to get four more of these bad boys? Looks like it's easily doable. And we could have uh, the fronts be green. That would be neat, right? What's funny is you're not you're not sending power out even through this connection. Quantum solar panels are a little bit weird. Processing ain't bad for them though. Oh, and let's make sure it stays nighttime. What time? It's getting a little bit close enough that I'll sleep for the night. All right, quantum solar panels, you almost done? You're crafting up three more glass, which I'm curious as to what's taking so long. Probably low on power over in that fancy place you can probably stop doing what you're doing altogether. Because now power is clearly a problem and we want to get as much of it as we possibly can. Oh, you know what? You can just go and do that. Do you have more thorium for me? A bit. Luckily, thorium we don't have to worry about cooling for, right? Hey, quantum solar panels. Nice. They're producing a small amount of forge energy, which means I think that it should be outputting over to there as well. Or maybe just to be careful. Can I like prevent you guys from connecting? I forget if that's a thing that you can do. Normal and normal, I guess. Let's just remove you for a sec. So I just want to make sure that we're actually getting power out of these bad boys. Good. They do seem to be working. The fact that these turned green is good. Okay. And you, sir, are... Building up. So let's come back when this gets closer to eight and then we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we have a bit of waiting to do. So why don't we do this? Let's come back next episode uh, and we will get this fusion reactor going. So this episode, we built it. Next episode, hopefully we can get it up and running for now. Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.